Hi, Pastor Tommy McMurtry from Liberty Baptist Church. Just want to make a video talking about soul winning and why you should get started soul winning. Now, if you've never heard of that, soul winning is basically just you going out and trying to win people to Christ, telling them about Jesus. Uh, we call it the Great Commission. And I believe this is also something that every believer should do. They should tell other people about Jesus, tell them about the free gift of salvation. But often people think, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm a new Christian. I don't know much Bible yet. You know, I, I can't do it. But the truth is, I believe one of the first things you ought to start doing as a, as a Christian is telling people about Jesus. In fact, when we look into the scriptures, we see examples of people right away telling others about Jesus uh, when they got saved. We see in John 4, verse 13, this is the story of the woman at the well. And Jesus it says, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So we see a picture of just a, a fountain of water where there's just an unlimited supply. It's a one-time thing. And that's, thank God, salvation. It's a one-time thing. You only have to get saved once. But it says in verse 28, Then the woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and saith to the men, Come see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? When that woman believed on Christ, first thing she did, she took off and she's telling others, about the Christ. She's telling others about this living water where you can go and you'll never thirst again. I th and I think that's a great example. We see in Luke 8, a uh, famous story of a man who was possessed with a legion of devils. And it says in verse 37, then the whole multitude of the country of the Gadarenes round about besought him to depart from them, talking about Jesus, for they were taken with great fear and he went up into their ship and returned back again. After Jesus uh, you know, saved this man after he r removed all those demons from him. It scared the people. They were afraid of Jesus. But notice in verse 38, Now the man of whom the devils were departed besought him that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thine own house, and show how great things God hath done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole city, how great things Jesus had done unto him. So he wanted to follow Jesus. He wanted to be one of his disciples. But Jesus told him, no, you go tell everybody in your town. You go tell all those people that just ran me off. And it says in verse 40, And it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. You know who made that happen? A man who had just gotten saved. How did he do that? All he went, and he, he went and he told everybody, what had been done for him. I'm sure he didn't know a lot of Bible, but he knew what had been done for him, and he told everybody about it, and the same people that ran Jesus off later after he talked to them, they were all ready to receive him. And so I believe many times some of the best soul winners are new believers. It's the most natural thing in the world that when someone receives a free gift as a child, that they often go and they tell others, you know, what they received. And uh, it says in Matthew 18, verse 3, and uh, it said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. You must be like a child to, to be saved. And I think that childlike faith too, even after salvation, it will help you get more people saved. I, and I like to illustrate it this way, okay? Next time, something you should try. I'm gonna throw a challenge out there for you. Get a big bag of candy sometimes, and if you have kids, take it home, and quietly give it to one of your kids, letting him see that you have a big bag of candy there. And watch how long before all the brothers and sisters know about it. I've done that many times. I remember one time I had a, a, a child come up to me and he saw I had a pack of gum. And I didn't want to turn him down when he asked for it. But I, I had a limited supply. And I remember I told him, don't tell anyone I gave this to you because I knew he was going to go tell all the other kids and they're all going to come. Well, didn't matter. A couple minutes later, here he comes with his little brother. His little brother wanted a piece of that gum. And I couldn't turn him down. I had to give it to him too. And you know, whenever kids find out, 
that there's a supply of candy, they tell everybody about it. You know why? Because they know it's free, they know it's available, and they're excited about that. Well, that's how we should be when it comes to salvation. When we find out that salvation is free, that it's available, when we realize what a wonderful gift eternal life is, the most natural thing in the world is for us to just go tell everyone we can, especially those that we love. Just like that little boy that I said, don't tell anybody. He's like, it's my brother. When I told him, I said, hey, I said not to tell anybody. And he was like, it's my brother. You know, and it's like he had to tell him. And when it comes to you, if you're saved, boy, tell your family first. You know, go to them and tell your, tell your friends. And you know, the sad thing is, not everyone will receive the gift of eternal life because not everyone will believe. And not everyone will have that childlike faith. But that shouldn't stop you from trying to get them to Jesus Christ. And you ought to do that right away. And then after you go to all your loved ones, the people that you're closest to, then you know what you should do? You should just go to whoever you can. Go to all the world. It says in Matthew 28, 18, And Jesus spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And so you know what? That's why we go out and we talk to everyone that we can because salvation, it's free, it's available to all, and anyone who believe it, they will receive it. And you know what we need today is more people who are saved telling other people about Jesus Christ. And it's not, it's not a difficult thing to do. It is a simple thing to just go tell people about Jesus. But at the same time, too, you know, I understand talking to strangers can be difficult. But you know what? What I think you should do is go to a church that practices soul winning and let them show you how that's done. You think, well, I don't, I don't know how I would talk to people. Well, you know, we can teach you that. And there's many other churches that could teach you, you know, how to uh, approach strangers and, and give them the gospel. I think when it comes to your family, I think all you need there is just love for them. You know how to talk to your family. And you just need to tell them what Jesus did in your life. But I, I challenge you. I'm, put, I'm putting a challenge out there for every, everyone who's saved to go and tell someone about Jesus. That's how we're going to reach the world. I can only talk to so many people. But, you know, if we start using multiplication... We're gonna, we could see uh, a great harvest of souls, and I know I want to see that, and I hope you'll be a part of it. So thank you for watching this video. God bless.